as you're thinking about parents that are that are trying to work through the at-home component of learning, um, what are you seeing out there? Or recommending that people consider um, when they're when they're doing that as well. So, so the first thing that we we talk about is uh, giving our, our parents a, a, a set schedule, uh, some way to support, just with some some skills that that they may not really um, have thought of before that that we do at school. I mean, um, our teachers have things pretty much uh, lined out to every fifteen minutes at our within our schools, but our parents may not be used to having a schedule along along that end. Um, in addition to that, trying to make sure that our families know that it's. It's just as important that you recognize when to take breaks, and that you recognize um, how to re how to um, move along with your student and, and see when they're tired and see when they're exhausted, and um, to to take breaks and to get outside and to to not make learning be this this huge chore, but to make it fun and interesting and um, an opportunity for you all to learn together. And I think that's one of the things that we can we can grow upon. Um, with regard to large gatherings. Do things in small groups as a family. Um, learn together. Um, do small experiments that you can work on together at home. And, and so we will provide a list of enrichment activities in addition to the things that our students should be doing. Um, as our students are older, um, the high school age students, it's making sure our parents know what the kids should be doing so they can ask the right questions, right? You get the proverbial, how was school today? Fine. What'd you do? <laughs> Nothing. That doesn't change when you move to a remote environment. So um, you you have to make sure that you give them tools to see how much they're, they can log in and see how long their student was online, how long their teacher was online, when the, when the um, office hours are remotely for teachers to help students and assist. So providing that, that, uh, that assistance all the way down the line is really, really important to um, help our parents and help our students. And so, what we've learned a little bit is that not only are we providing professional learning for our teachers, but our teachers are now prov providing professional learning for our parents into how to support their students um, in their learning processes.